Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Now let's learn how to use format date, format date time, and format UTC date time function. And these functions are date functions. So let me start one by one. So first, let me show you format date. Format date function is used to convert a date into a desired format or extract a piece of information such as day, month, etc. from a complete date double click on that and left side we have this date and then we have this format date so this is the function details where the format date is accepting two inputs parameters one date second format now i will tell you about the format in details let me just click on paste and you can see here here we need to add a date and here we need to add a format let me create one data item so that we can take a date from that data item directly so click here now let me create one child double click on that put here uh, input date now let me put here a initial value here click on that and we'll take the current date 27 2022 now let's remove this one and just take this value here now here we need to pass format now let me show you formats so what are the format specifiers we can use here normally you have seen that based on this example we can put dd space mmm space yy or, or you will have also seen like dd hyphen mm hyphen yyyy something like that so we have few more formats also let me show you here we have few format specifier based on this you will get the output so if you we'll use d small d it will return a short date which is like this 21 hyphen 06 2022 like that so this is day this is month and this is year if you we'll put d that is capital d so it will return a long date it means it will return 21 june 2022 if you we'll put d d so it will return a day in digit it means 21 21 ddd it will return a day name that is tue if we'll put mm so return month so you can just go through this and you can use this one let me first show you the normal the format that usually we use that is mm hyphen dd hyphen yyyy one more thing you need to take care of that whenever you are using this formats you have to also take care of that this mm should be in the capital this should be in the caps and dd should be in the small and y y y y also should be in the small letters because if you we'll put small mm so it will have a different value i i will show you in the date times format because it will consider as a minutes right so here let's create one a data item stage that will be the text now put here format format value something like that so in this data item first we'll enter the format mm hyphen dd hyphen yy yy now click ok and let me take this value here so let me replace this format with the format value now we can store this here so format underscore output format date underscore outputs now create this now click ok now this is the input date this is the format as an input and this is the output data item where we will get the output now let me link this here right click set next stage and then step now you can see here we are getting the date in this mmddyy format because the date is 2nd of july 2022 now let me show you how to use a format to extract a piece of information from the date so let's say i want only date in the digit so i want 0 2 as a date so for that we have to use d d so here we can put d d now click ok and now right click set next stage and now you can see 02 that we are getting as a day 
now if i want only day name so we can put d d d d so d d four times d now click ok let me refresh that and here we have value d d d d right click set next stage and now you can see we are getting saturday here now i'm going to show you how to use format date time let me take this so we have this format date time connect this let me take this and now double click on that format date time function is used to convert a date time into a desired format or extract a piece of information such as time hours minutes seconds etc from a date time so here you can see from left side we have this format date time click on paste and so date we already have one data item that we created so we can take a date from here so we'll take input date and here we have format so format now we are going to take it from uh, that text this is format value and now we are going to store that in the format date time underscore output create that now click ok we have this output let me take here here we can make changes so this is the format specifiers we can use for date time format so f small letter which will return sort date time sort date time means we have day month year and time so here we have hh and mm only not second but in the f with the capital letter it will give you a long date time with the seconds also a small mm means it will return minutes so as I told you here that here instead of putting mm in the capital if you are putting small mm so it will return minutes right so your output will be different so whenever you put some formats specifiers so always take care of that if you put hh mm ss and then tt small tt so it will give you a date time with the am pm so you will get like this let me first show you dd mm yy yy hh mm ss so here dd mm yy yy hh mm ss now click ok we have this format value and now let me right click here set next stage and now you can see we are getting 0 to 0 7 222 and the time is 12 so currently we don't have time here so now let me uh, make some changes to the here and let me convert this to a uh, date time so because we want a specific date so we'll put this date time select here uh, this and then current time is this right let me uh, copy this here also right click set next stage and now you can see we are getting here 040849 which is our input is 160849 it means this is showing us in the 24 24 hours format and here we are getting in 12 hours format which is 4849 if i am going to make changes to this format and i am going to put here tt now right click set next stage and now you can see here we are getting here value in the pm which which shows that like this is the evening time 4 8 49 seconds pm right our input is complete date time but if i want only time from this one so how can we do that so if you want only time as output so we can use this t small t or capital T which will return long time so in this one format value I am going to put here T only let me copy this and paste here and right click set next stage and now you can see here we are getting 1608 which which is like 4 8 pm right if we we'll put here capital T set next stage and now you can see we have hhmmss 14 uh, 160849 
this is our output now the next one is format utc date time so format utc date time is used to convert a utc date time into a desired format or extract a piece of information such as time hours minutes seconds etc from date time so here only the change is utc what is utc let me show you the difference here so you can see here this is the utc time utc means universal time the current time is as per the utc this is 10:42:58 am and in india the time is 16:13 it means 4:13 pm but in as per the utc time we have a different so if you want to play with the utc time then we have the format utc date time so let me link here double click here now go to date format utc date time and then paste that so there is no change only we are going to put a date which can be a date time also so i am going to take it from date time here and then format i am going to take the same input this format value and then output will be format utc date time underscore output create that now click ok so here i am go i am using here t which will give us the value as a t based on this one because our time here is taking based on our time so here if you are passing the utc time so it will convert based on that here but currently we are passing this one so this will understand that this is the utc time and it will give you that right so to format that utc date time also you will use the same format specifiers that is t tt and ddmmyy hhmmss like that so these format specifiers you can use to format this utc date time also Thank you.